just had last uh, Sunday. And I believe uh, you guys have already uh, preparing yourselves pretty hard for the upcoming entrance exam, uh, which is uh, on 28th. So um, today uh, we are going to analyze the uh, legal aptitude part first. And then obviously I would be discussing two tricks and treats, which will be required by you to answer such kind of questions in your uh, NMU Delhi paper as well. So we begin with legal aptitude section. I'm going to discuss all the 35 legal questions. Firstly, let me tell you that all the 35 questions uh, in your question paper we have to solve within a time frame of 20 to 25 minutes. All right. Have you guys been able to do that? Uh, I am sure that, you know, while appearing for your mock test, you must have noted the time, you know, in which you are being able to solve the question paper. So can I just have a quick response from all the students here so that I get to see how much of time you have taken for the legal uh, section? A uh, quick response from uh, Gargi, Mohak, Parv, and Varun, please. Just a minute, uh, okay? Okay, guys, it's very good. 20 minutes is really commendable. All right, okay, 30, 20, 20 has been minimum time that we see, and that's really good so leave all you other competitors are listening that you know there are students who are solving the legal section in 20 minutes i hope that is for all the questions right how many questions have you attempted out of the 35 questions that we have just a number please from all of you one after the other box okay very good 35 is the highest that i can see from all the analysts Okay, okay, then 20. All right, so on an average, you guys have attempted 30 to 35 questions. Ideally, in this section, legal aptitude section for the entrance exam of NLU Delhi, the ideal number of attempts should be 35. Considering you do not have any negative marking, unlike class, you attempting all these questions. Okay, I will begin with uh, the legal uh, aptitude question. Of the uh, one word questions, the really legal knowledge based questions. I can see that you know all the 20 questions that we have from legal knowledge questions are pretty, you know, uh, mixed, I should rather say. Uh, not all questions are exclusively from a uh, legal knowledge background. You do have questions like, you know, uh, the second question, the first woman to head the United States Senate, which is a combination of your legal and your general knowledge section as well all right so you must find out from this section that you know you do have questions which are a mixture of your general knowledge as well as legal knowledge questions so while preparing you should make sure that you know you are not leaving behind such kind of questions you know from uh, your preparatory uh, this is a question like a uh, uh, fourth question. Who among the following was the judge who sentenced Saddam Hussein to death? This indicates that you know it's important that you have the current affairs not only prepared for one last year, but you should also have a knowledge about you know two, three previous years of legal uh, you know uh, current affairs because that's intense, especially if you have had any famous judgment, if you have had any famous you know, prosecution proceeding taken place. So you should be knowing that, you know, you know, is the development in such kind of, you know, current affairs. Uh, another trick uh, with regards to solving such kind of legal knowledge question is that if you see um, 20 questions of legal list, we have around uh, three to four questions which are dealing with your uh, um, Lee magazines, right? So uh, if you see the Sixth question, term donatio motus causa is applicable to which of the following? How many people, how many, how many attendees have question? I will just make a response from your side. All right, okay. All right, so have you been able to, uh, you know, uh, uh, get the correct answer? All the attendees, please. 
Okay, right. have you followed any strategy or you knew the answer? Did you know the answer? You know the answer prior? Or if, just a quick response again, please. All right. Yes, this is what happened by fluke. All right. If you are uh, uh, attempting a question by fluke, you're right. I, I understand. I'm getting responses like yes, bit calculated by fluke, by, you know, uh, uh, hook and crook. All right, fine. Okay. Uh, but you should be trying to find out a link, a basic link. Like if you see, it's a Latin magazine, Donatio Mortis Causa. But you know that you know Mortis is basic, right? And you know a word which is associated on the word donation. You see the options given, probate is something, it's a process of legally establishing the validity of the law. You know that you know this cannot be an answer for this question. You, you know, exclude it, you eliminate it. You come to rigor mortis, the second option. Also recognizable, rigor mortis this basically means, you know, a recognizable sign of death, all right? Obviously, the term donatio uh, mortis causa is not applicable just to mortis. So eliminate that as well. Now, might have a confusion with regards to a will and a give deed signed in contemplation of death. You do a guesswork, you would be able to understand that, you know, the maxim is exactly the replication of option C. Give deed signed in contemplation of Death. So, even if you have Latin words, all right, you can relate it to the nearest available English word in your knowledge and make use of that knowledge to eliminate the possible answers and convert it into a possible, you know, uh, uh, guess option. All right. So, this strategy could be applied to other, you know, sorts of magazines also, which probably you are unaware of or you have not heard of it earlier. Okay. Now, um, that you have from the legal knowledge part, right? all of them are pretty uh, known. Okay, so it's not that. Okay, um, geez, I'll just change the slide. Okay, let's have question number 11. All these ten questions, uh, none of you have got any doubt. If you have had, if you if you're having any doubt, please respond to it by uh, writing me, by giving me the message that you have got a doubt. Any doubt in the first ten questions that we just, just trying to analyze? Because the unword questions, so I believe you understand that you know there's nothing of a detail analysis that could be. Done. But in case you have got a doubt, please respond. I no doubt there because I'm not seeing any uh, uh, responses of doubt in the chat box. Oh, I'm proceeding further, all right? So from question 11 to question 20 that we have, these are again one-word questions. And, you know, uh, in one-word questions, these are like, you know, either you know it or you do not know it. And all the questions that you have in the 11 to 20 number of questions, they are all very, very, easy question. So I don't think, you know, there is any doubt of uh, uh, doubt that could be rising in these questions. And actually the maxims that you got, those are very maxims. We use quite often in our courses at Idam, the Nemo de Betis essay judex in propria causa. These are very commonly used maxims. So I don't think you guys have any out pertaining to these 11 to 20 number of questions, please let me know in the chat box immediately by a very quick response. It has a no, and I proceed further from question 21. All right. The learning questions that we have from 21 to 35, they are all very direct reasoning. All right. They are all reasoning questions. You must be of the fact that you in NLU Delhi, if you have referred to the previous year's question papers already. All right, question two. Okay, okay. This is something you will have to read the Constitution to know. All right. The of the house, 
meaning of it. This is something which is prorogation is a very uh, frequently used term, all right, in case of uh, dissolving the uh, house, all right, in case of the house being terminated, all right, the session being terminated. Uh, so uh, you can see now the above is an option which we keep aside. We, we should be analyzing analyzing the other options first. Uh, the beginning of the session of the house and break in between the two sessions of the house all right, and the sessions of the house that has been terminated. All right, this production is a term which has been used for termination. All right, it's but obvious that you are going to use it as option A. Okay, so hope that you understood that, you know, this is something you will have to acquire by reading your legal knowledge book. All right, it is something which is given in your legal knowledge book as well. Okay, so read the constitution part very carefully, especially the sessions, the parliament, all right, and the composition of the houses, because it's very important from the point of view of your examination that you will be questioned from these aspects of, of all right, 12, 17, and sec, uh, all right. An offense in which police officer can arrest without a warrant is known as a cognizable offense. Question 17 is 280 days. Okay, so there's a time frame within which, you know, a Muslim woman who is divorced, all right, is not allowed to study, all right. That time frame is only to a certain if, as, you know, of the previous marriage, the woman has been pregnant to a certain the, you know, uh, the uh, uh, legality of the child that she is bearing, okay. So the time frame is 280 days. And Sixteen is in Sophia Cosa. That is a very common maxim which we quite often use, and even in your legal classes, must have been told about this uh, maxim when it is uh, with regards to the legal knowledge aspect. All right, it is uh, uh, that no man can be the judge in his own cause. This maxim is also known as Nemo Bet in Sua Cosa. So, few questions. So, can we proceed further from question 21? I hope till 20, all the uh, questions have been, all the doubts have been solved. I am sorry, are you, which question are you referring to, uh, uh, which question are you referring to, to article 20? Are you referring to question 60, any chance? Response, please. Answer, do you have a doubt? See, right. Uh, a maximum which is used for, uh, you know, uh, principle of natural justice okay and uh, it is not a part of uh, article 20 article 20 has got three parts. It, article 20 is talking about protection of a person from conviction okay of from conviction of for an offender okay so this question is not a part of uh, question uh, uh, 16 the maximum is with regards to no man can be a judge in his own court this is basically to see that a fair judgment is being given. All right. So, I hope Mohawk, your doubt is clear. Now. Okay. See, can we proceed? Proceeding with question number 21 and onwards now. All right. This is where you guys will have to tell me in case you guys have any doubt. Let's proceed to question number 21. Do you guys have any doubt pertaining to question number 21? A direct question. It, it it's pretty any doubt pertaining to any part of this question, you may please raise it. Right away by, uh, you know, writing your doubt on the chat box.
All right, okay. Most of the responses are no. So I go forward to question number 22. I hope question 21 is true for all of you. So I'm proceeding to question number 22 now, all right? Any doubts pertaining to question number 22 at this point of time? It is again a very, very direct question wherein you should understand in the fact a very pertinent uh, word has been used and that word is the manhole with a huge rock ignoring the sound of workers. That tells you the intention of the person and exactly this word makes the people fall within the ambit of the fact. So uh, uh, a very quick response please in case you have got a doubt with question number 22. Uh, I think easier if you guys are just letting me know the question numbers in which you have got any pertinent doubt. All right, from all attendees that we have got over here, please let me know the question number in which you have got any problem. I uh, get to see question 27, 25. All right, please put forth all the question numbers so that we can have it in all and proceed, you know, in the ending order. 27 and 25 are the unanimous doubts. Further up. Okay. I should just dictate that to you guys. In case you just let me know. All right. 25, 20, 30, 30, and 33. Go to question number 25 first. Got questions paper with you. All right, the slide is also there. So um, let's just skip. Your people is saying if faulty goods are being for hire, the builder is responsible for such damage, whether he was or was not aware of the existence of such faults in the goods bill. All right. Over, you should be understanding from the principle that the principle is targeting all the faulty goods which has been built for hire, all right? And under this circumstance, where any responsibility or that the person is having towards those faulty goods, okay? That says they hired a car from a car rental company called Star Rentals. Rentals is not aware that the person who had previously rented the car has stolen the spare tire and other loose repair tools provided at the back of the car. Ben is driving the car on a remote road in the countryside. A car gets punctured and Ben is left without a spare tire. Ben sues star rental. We see. You should understand from the fact that the spare tire and the other loose repair tools are an essential part of the car when car is put on a rent all right under this circumstance if you're trying to relate to the uh, principle you see that you know with the particular sentence of your fact it is pretty out and clear that the bill was faulty in nature circumstance if you see the options the says because star rental cannot be held responsible as they were not aware of the missing spare tire. This is absolutely contrary to what your principal is saying. So this is to be eliminated with the first reading. Second is, when will not succeed because absence of a spare tire cannot be considered as a defect in the rental car. about the faulty goods. They are not just talking about defective goods. All right. So 
Uh, you could have a benefit of doubt in this particular uh, answer B. But let's proceed with C and D to analyze what is the appellate answer which is going in consonance to the principle. C says B will succeed because it was the duty of the to ensure that there was no fault with the car. This is the most apt answer that you can find out of all three options as yet. We still have another option left. Ben will succeed because the rental is directly responsible for the punctured tire. Of course, it's not because, you know, the car was already put on hire. So anyway, B is also not an option. So out of the three, uh, four options that we have already, B is eliminated, A is eliminated. B and C are the two options left to you and you can very well understand by reading the principle that you know C is reflecting the principle the best. As in some kind of legal reasoning question, your duty is only to find the answer which responds best to the principle. So hence, your answer is C. Have any further doubts to this question? Okay. So proceeding further to question number 27, all right? Okay, so question number 27. All right, you guys, to read the principles again. It's essential that we understand the principle first before going into the facts, all right? So let's see what the principle is trying to say. The principle says the law of economic duress comes into play when apparent consent of the plaintiff was induced by pressure exercised by the defendant. As a result, such consent is revocable. If you have your hard copy, then I would request you guys to underline the few stress words in the principle. And over here, the stress words would definitely be the consent of the plaintiff induced by pressure and the content in such case is revocable, all right? Mr. and Fernando enter into a contract to collectively buy a piece of property located in Vijayanagar. At an advanced stage of the sale transaction, Fernando suddenly hits a financial crisis and is in no position to uphold his part of the promise under the contract. He there decides to repudiate the contract, leaving Sebastian stranded. When Sebastian files for enforcement, Fernando defends that the agreement was signed under economic duress. Since Sebastian was wealthier than him, is this a valid defense? You understand the economic, the principle of the economic duress comes into play when the person is entering into a contract and not when the contract has already been entered into and, and it is at an advanced stage, all right? In itself, with the first reading, you can understand that there is a there is a deviation in the fact from what the principal is trying to select. Okay, let's go to the option to select the options now. The option says see the mere fact that Fernando hit a financial crisis does result in a situation. of economic duress, all right? Next, no, since the mere fact that Sebastian was wealthier than Fernando does not make the law of economic duress come into play. Of course, this is exactly what I explained to you. So you know that this is a more suitable answer. Please this aside, all right? This will definitely have a preference over A now. Next, yes, Sebastian being richer among the two has wielded influence over Fernando. Sorry, our fact is silent about it. So we cannot hold option C as one of the appropriate answer. Option C is eliminated. D, here is taking into consideration their financial condition. No proposition involving the piece of property can be justifiable. This is too much a deviation from what your principle and your uh, 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 fact is trying to suggest. So anyway, B is also eliminated. Do you understand from reading uh, the principle and the fact that, you know, it's option B, could be more close to the answer as an appropriate answer. Hence, B is the best answer in this case. Stand the reasoning now. Three for doubt, pertain to question 27.
up, okay? I respond is like no. Else within yes. This is clear now. So we are proceeding further to the next doubt. Question number thirty. Any question in between from 27 to 29? 27 is uh, dealt with already. Or uh, 28 and 29. I hope there's no problem with 28 and 29. So we are going straight away to question number 20. Okay. Suggest you guys to. Read principle very carefully when you are reading it. I understand in the examination due to the time crunch, you will not be able to read the principle twice. That, that you know, whenever you are reading a principle, you should know what are the key words, all right, the stress points in the principle which are required to be analyzed by you in the fact. Okay. So keeping this in mind from the next principle, keeping the stress word in mind, all right. Let's identify the stress word in principle one and principle two first. Okay. Whoever causes death by doing an act with the intention of causing death or with the intention of causing such bodily injury as is likely to cause death or with the knowledge that he is likely by act to cause death commits the offense of culpable homicide. So I believe you understand what is culpable homicide, all right? In culpable homicide, according to the principle, it is important that the person has got an intention of causing death, all right? Or the intention of causing a bodily injury which is likely to cause death. And with the so here intention and knowledge are important factors for a person to commit culpable homicide, okay? So we'll have to keep in mind both the intention factor and the knowledge factor while trying to analyze the medical phase, culpable homicide is murder. Now we go a step further. Culpable homicide will be considered as murder if the act by which the death is caused is done with the intention of causing death. So here again, intention of causing death is important or if the person committing the act knows that it is so intensely dangerous that it must in all probability cause death or such bodily injury as is likely to cause death and commit such act without any ex excuse for incurring the risk of causing death, okay? So the additional point over here is that the commission of the act should be in such a fashion that there should not be any excuse for incurring the risk of causing death. Now, have understood these two principles, let's go further to the Holly Macbot is a radical believer in a political cause and wants to blow up the building of a commercial bank in furtherance of the cause. Lay his plan carefully. He wears the detonor, sorry, detonators, timing them so that they detonate when the only security guard on duty steps out of his thing to patrol the grounds of the building. Okay. Now, to Timothy, that might be the so that night, the lonely security guard brings in his lady friend to his station and two of them stay indoor. Timothy realizes the change in plan and desperately tries to defuse the bomb. So you can understand there is a change in the intention which has already taken place, all right? Keep that in mind. Desperately tries to defuse the bomb, but it's too late. The bomb explodes, killing both the guard and his friend. Is Timothy guilty of murdering? You mentioned not. I've already seen how the intention has changed by the statement of the fact. Now, let's see. You have four options. Out of four options, the first is guilty of the homicide because setting up bomb is a matter in the manner that he did is likely to cause death. Second option says Timothy is guilty of murder because the act of detonating the bomb was imminently dangerous and would in all probability cause death. Of course not because your fact has already said that he was planning to blast the uh, uh, bin only when the uh, guard has gone to the 
I've gone for a patrolling, all right? So it cannot be a possibility. The next option, Timothy is guilty of causing the death of the guard, but not the lady friend because he was not, she was not expected to be there in the first place, and he was not even aware of her presence. Yes, that came to his knowledge, and that's the reason why he was desperately trying to detonate the bomb, right? So then you see that option C is also not a viable option. Here, option D, Timothy is not guilty of killing either of the two victims because it was not his intention to kill anyone and he had tried to take care not to. But yes, the action with which he had used the bomb was a to, you know, which is contrary to option D. Hence, you see that only option A is the one which is suiting best to that of the principal. Do you guys have any further doubts pertaining to option uh, 30? I need the response in chat box. Well, to further to question number 31. <laughs> got a combination of intention or knowledge. Though he did not have the intent, but he did have the knowledge. Right. That's the reason why the principle is falling within the ambit of this particular answer. Please read the principle once again. It's not excluding either of the two. It's intent or knowledge. Your knowledge is present already. Uh, I have just responded to the message that I received from Varun Sharma. Varun Sharma, is it clear? Your people is not just talking about intention, but it is also talking about people If you read the principle carefully, presence of either of the factor is important. And all is already. So please respond if you have understood and if I could proceed further. Oh, Krana, I did not understand. 30 was done. I write it in confusion of 30. Uh, sorry, uh, if you could please uh, write back which one is, which one are you talking about? Just a second. Let me refer to your previous chat. All right, so should we proceed further? All right, proceeding further. That, that's good. All right. Okay, Mark, I will be discussing 30. Oh, so you asked 31 earlier, but it is clear to you now. All right, so do you guys want me to analyze question number 31 any further? Please, quick response. No, okay. Other attendees, please, real fast. And who wants me to analyze question 31? Please. No one. Okay, fine. Great. So uh, I am going to go to question number 33 to 35, as has been demanded by all the attendees here. Okay. So I hope question number 32 is also clear, right? So I proceed to question number 33 to 35. Please have question number 31 to 35 so that we can start arriving with it, all right? 
actually portable one. All right, those three portable one. This is something which I'm talking from the knowledge which you must acquire while you know studying such kind of uh, topics from contracts. The options are that there was only an implied consent to harm, suffer harm, which may occur due to the ordinary course of the sport. You have option B, C, and D. You see that option A is directly applicable to principal E. Then principal three is used here. You go with principal three and answer it as option A. Do you have applicability of the principal here? Only principal three, which is applicable here, and hence you know the answer is I mentioned in your option A. Problem? Any doubts pertaining to choosing option A in question number thirty-three? Quick response. No. We are proceeding. Right. Whether option. Oh. You guys must be calling question number thirty-four by now. All right. Okay. So we have question number thirty-four uh, here. Number thirty-four says whether the action against Robert would succeed. Now understand the action of Robert from the facts, all right? And facts clearly say that Robert was driving, and he took a sharp turn, turn at the bend as he saw a, a dog running on the track. This is something which has happened in the track, all right? Or he had slowed down, but his car grazed the pavilion. Okay. Upstart, yeah. As it was because of Robert's act, Ravi lost his nerve. No questioning you whether what was the hand of Ravi because of Robert. So please do not go out of the bound or right to answer a question. Think to what your question is asking you to answer. Next is no Ravi infliction of such harm as may be caused during the ordinary course of the sport. Yes, what the incident that you see had taken place over here is something which could have also happened in the ordinary course of the sport. Hence, while buying the ticket, he has consented to this particular, you know, uh, act. Yes, because Robert should not have shown that this act of saving dummy endangers the spectator. It's not directly being applicable to the principal, and we will not choose this as an answer. So, as Rajesh himself was guilty of. Contributing no question of contributory negligence at all. If you see the principle, it is all talking about the consent when a person is entering into you know, uh, the consent uh, that a person has given to harm that he has suffered. So D is also a possible option here. The only option that you are left with here is A. Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry. The option is B in this case. So the answer is B. These are the explanation pertaining to question number thirty. That all the other answers which are not corresponding best to the principle. Uh, okay. So we proceed further to the last question, number thirty-five. Question says the action against Ravi would succeed. All right. I hope you have understood who is Ravi, who is Robert, and like you know how the and and who is Rajesh. So you understand the kind of Ravi now. All right. Ravi Was but he is the person who lost out on his nerve, and instead of slowing, wherein he could have taken his skills into consideration, he could not take the skills, and hence the accident took place. Right? So now we go to options. Option A says yes, as Ravi's lack of skill caused the accident. This option is directing you to commit principle four. Principle four is directly being reflected in option A. Like if the other options have any uh, connection with the principle, so it was due to Robert's fault that the accident happened. Again, you should not be going out of the question. Take the question and answer the question. So B is not a plausible answer. C yes, and Ravi could owe the duty of care to the spectator. Yes, of course he owed a duty of care to the spectator, but the duty of care. Do this is being ruled by principle four, okay? and principle four is attracting best to option A. Okay, it's none of the above. Obviously, could not be possible since A is a more plausible answer. All right, so here the option is A. 
any out of all the attendees any question pertaining to uh, any doubt pertaining to option sorry sorry question 35 the analysis of question 35 please take a quick response okay. okay you guys have understood you know, how you should be reasoning a question when it comes to a legal reasoning question if you are under any sort of a doubt while trying to ascertain a particular answer as the best answer please try the elimination method that is a very foolproof method and it will help you to ascertain a particular answer yes i can understand 20 minutes for all these kind of you know tactics is not just easy but you can develop that only out of practice okay so keep practicing as much as possible before you New Delhi main entrance exam is coming up. Okay, I hope uh, you guys are through with these doubts. Uh, is there any other doubt pertaining to you know, how to attempt strategies to attempt or anything else apart from these 35 questions which we have discussed? If yes, then please a quick response again in the chat box. Okay, okay. Okay, see any response? So I hope that you know I can proceed further. Hand it to. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Okay, this I shall go over to the next section, general section, which will be taken by Mr. Rajat. So right. Yeah. Mr. Rajat, please take over. Yes. Thank you, nice. Thank you. Respond once, all of you. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, we can start the general knowledge section. Okay. Okay. So coming on to the general knowledge part. Uh, I uh, we have uh, met many a times, maybe in the past or maybe times during the sessions. And uh, I would like to, you know, for just for two minutes, I would like to discuss with the way we go ahead with the general knowledge section. Well, don't have to use some empiricism. You just have to reason, and after that, you know it or you don't know. Okay, so it uh, should not take more than 20 seconds to complete a question. This is a section which can be easily completed in a quick time. So, best advantage, uh, you know, uh, you can section, the section at a rate of maybe half a minute per question, and then you can want, you can save time for the other sections which generally demand some time also. So, in the general knowledge, if with every question I will be telling you. Uh, very quiet, I'll be telling some additional information also. Okay, uh, so uh, note down uh, the additional information that we have with, rela with relation to the uh, to the ease or any of the personalities that we read about. Uh, so we start with the, with the next section, general knowledge. Who is the first president of the Constituent Assembly of India? Expect you to answer also. कुछ लोग लगता है आज तुम्हें नहीं है टाइप करने के लिए. Okay, so okay. Uh, the correct answer is uh, Sachidanand Sinha. Well, very correct. Uh, I can see some of the answers, Sachidanand Sinha. But you know, who can president if I ask you? Who was it? Because just two after the uh, after his election, he was uh, uh, you know he was an interim president actually, and he was removed after two days. And, uh, President who had to be elected came. Okay, fine. We got some answers. Yes, Mark, absolutely correct. It's uh, Rajendra Prasad. Yes. 
so this constituent assembly each year was constituent assembly formed in assembly formed well it was formed in 1946 so in 1946 and first it was of course achyudan sena second was rabindra savage already given in the option a so um, and uh, you know it was formed during the time of british in india by mission plan in 1946 and finally made the, the constitution of india initially it had people from pakistan also but uh, of late they uh, the group and it was left only the indian So to the question number thirty-seven. Brick clean will be held in. Well, now it's already been held in. Now, now. So was this brick summit held? Is brick summit held? It was not in the news. It was. Yeah, yes, absolutely correct. I could see your answers. It's a direct question. Now we don't need much of the information here. Such questions, I tell you, in general or in most of the questions, read, just answer, or you don't know. Okay, in this question, you cannot use any logic that if it was this year, it was that year. Okay, you know, so you can eliminate one option where maybe knowing some of the events. Like last year, it happened in India. So, only such meeting generally don't repeat in the same country. so this time it must not be in india it may be in south africa or china or russia so of course from the name bricks we know which are the countries involved so it can be other than those five countries also so correct answer is south africa last year at the last of march this thing was held in durban and you know what is the most important point of brics summit last last month what they have given very important thing that has up uh, the brick development bank it will lead it the development bank it will it may substitute world bank in future it is uh, right now it has started as a balance okay so now this development bank okay coming to the next question which one of the human body is affected by class Kalajar. Do you know the common name of Kalajar in English? Yes, common name is nothing else. Kala naam se hume clear hai. It's black fever, none other than the, none other than black fever. One of the largest killers in the world. Ah, malaria and cancer, one of the largest in the world. So, um, very important. So, it affects generally fever. In most of the fever, the part which is affected is bone marrow. Remember that in Kala Jal, in some cases, if you don't have bone marrow as the option, at least you can take liver also because it affects liver also. So, I would say you know the bone marrow is not the option. The primary first thing you must seek about for such answers is. bone but if you don't see bone marrow you can certainly go for liver if you don't have okay so um, uh, uh, common disease around the world so well, okay, you know it's a parasitic disease i say you know it's the same cause like malaria You know the cause is uh, one of the same causes like malaria. <laughs> so, uh, well, in uh, you know, uh, if tell me about the exact species, it is called Lishmania, but you know, uh, it will be a bit tough for you. Coming next question. The who given the Bihari Puraskar for year 2012? Bihari Puraskar for the year 2012. Which 
ठीक ठाक लगता है तुरंत देख के टाइप कर दे रहे हो ए बी सी डी वेल ओके फाइन आंसर इज नॉट वेरी डिफिकल्ट प्रोमिनेंट वन ऑफ द प्रोमिनेंट राइटर राजस्थानी राइटर हरे राम मीना ओके इज गिवन फॉर गिवन टू द प्रोमिनेंट राइटर ऑफ विच स्टेट ओल्ड आंसर आई गेस वेल स्पीकिंग फॉर विच स्टेट येस येस आई थिंक सम ऑफ यू हर्ड ओके राजस्थान येस बिहारी पुरस्कार इज नॉट फॉर द बिहार it's actually for the uh, okay one of the prominent rajasthani writer in the last 10 years um, in the last 10 years they select one of them and that is what So, oh, Meena, what is the name of the? Do you know the name of, of book that was written by uh, this popular writer? And the name is Dhuni Kapeti. If you want, you can write it down. Dhuni, not Dhuni. Dhuni Kapeti. English में देंगे तो उसे tape के लिए देंगे. Well, T. Now so the following is the duration of rice crops in India. Which of rice crops in India? Where you know rice crops? What are the other two crops? If you if you know what are the other two crops in India that are popular? Yes, one answer: rabi and then. Try to remember this. Well, uh, you know, Kharif you can associate with the Kharif season that is the June. What this is? This is how I I learned that. Kharif you can associate with the uh, you can associate it with the summer season, the Kharif season. So that is what I remember with the Kharif. So. Uh, there it comes then comes rabi which moves into the winter and then comes zayat comes back to the march march to june is the time when zayat crops are sown and it is the season of the zayat crops hari fire you remember it by june uh, that is what i remember i had remembered you know something unusual but you know in delhi we are, of course we see this the year heavily it's uh, India generally burning. Uh, Kharif, Rabi, and then Zayat. So Zayat. These are the three cropping seasons in India. Plan was based on Harold Omer model. Well, Omer model. What? What was it? Yes. And what is the second model? Second economic plan, which is based on which popular model? Which pop? No. So economic five-year plan. Plan. Mahalan Obes. If you want, you can write it down. Mahalan Obes. Okay, this model for the who man be just on Republic Day, two thousand and thirteen. Was the chief guest on Republic Day, two thousand and thirteen. Well, the great hero, such one. Well, who is from which country? The name is Wang Wang Chuk. He is the king of Wang. 
just an additional information with this one is the root of disinvestment condition of india was well it was in 1990s but very important uh, very important our uh, government right now some and a half decades back around 50 years back in 96 97 who was the first one we had to answer you know expect in such questions do not try to use any of your logic you know it or you don't know it so well correct answer with this is gv rakeshna you know take matia आगे बढ़ गए दैट संतोष ट्रॉफी इज संतोष ट्रॉफी दिस इज दिस मेन एम ऑफ दिस कमीशन विल दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट व्हाट इज दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट इन नेट टू द स्टेक व्हाट यू हैव so what if the government is short of cash the so government sells some of the uh, some some of the its stake in the industries in the companies to the uh, okay. so you know that is what is this investment investment is wasting our money to buy some of the stake this investment is selling the stake to get money back so the 2013 is This the way is yes. So, yes. Santosh so, played for which sport? Played for which sport? Sport. Yeah, very common. You know, the the one of the it is the most most wide game in the world, football, and this is the primary one of the primary. Uh, cups the tournament yeah lakes is a fine example of lagoon lake so what is lagoon is that actually now but uh, which of the point is lagoon okay okay aa answer ki lagta hai log bhi dekh ke seedha answer mark kar de rahe hain okay so one it is so state in which state is pule here gandhi chilka is also it's also lagoon the pule state it's in it's in tadu there was an incident last year when i was in it pull uh, Novak Djokovic won ATP Dubai Open tennis by defeating. So, to whom did he defeat? Whom did he defeat? We well, must check player. The right-handed from Czechoslovakia. Yes, correct. Thomas Burdich. He is from Czech Republic. public okay and what public just for information what is public the public is prague p a sorry bhi ajeeb se jaati hai isme p a g U E The thing with Lance Tales from a diplomatic past is written by who wrote this famous book? Book. Yeah. 
फॉर इंडिया an oil minister he was also oil minister during the term of congress was educated in oil for food son <laughs> for empowerment safety and security of women well nirbhay fund has been instituted what the amount contained in nirbhay fund fund what is it contained in the nirbhay fund Because so of course it's needed for a country like India very vast. Yes, sir, absolutely one thousand crores. Absolutely correct. One thousand crores for Nirbhay Fund for the safety, security, and empowerment of women. As per index 2020, which of the following states union territories has the worst place key factors of empowerment? I give you a hint. Three with the highest no highest number of wheels and who is it? Okay, so Delhi is the correct answer. Five. Who topped the next? Sorry, uh, you. The, I saw correct, incorrect answers. I think you must have got the right answer by now. I have written this. There is Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand has topped this. Uttarakhand. No comments in. <laughs> Question: Who was awarded the million dollar TED Prize? Well, this he is also called Polymath. He is smart in many of these. With the TED famous TED Prize, Mitra, he who is right now to start experiment, tools building the school and internet. So well, it is a very from he started this is project and Sudhak Mitra, this. And stand. Uh, what is? Yes, yeah, nano satellite. So why was it in the news? You know, this is satellite from. Um, this is a satellite from actually. Yeah. the university so you know but was it in the news actually this satellite was what taken into orbit by indian satellite launch vehicle in ferry this sorry in indian launch vehicle now india is one of the leaders in the satellite launches and india takes satellite from many of the countries and puts it in the orbit this is a nano satellite from sir and the, the from uk so the better to be nice and this taken to okay <coughs> first state union territory in india which banned manual scavenging the manual scavenging will one of the pain in one of the pain in india it was one of the largest employer of this and uh, and banned by the Sumit Kani became the first woman to win million dollar five crore rupees on KBC six. Now, belongs to which state? 
So again, it's all even in the answer. Almost correct. Okay, well, Punjab, nothing, nothing else. Who was the first person to win here? Who was the first mega prize? Or he has more than Navate on one crore, but who um, was the person to win this mega prize? Five crore. Last more than Navate was the first person to win one crore. He won it in 2000. And there, Sushil Kumar from Bihar won the for the first time. Okay, Sushil Kumar is one of the prime government mission. Is the face of one of the prime government mission. What is the name of the mission in which Sushil Kumar has been used as a prime? As a leader, he is for Narega. For Narega, uh, Narega, Mahatma Gandhi National Employment Guarantee. For this, so she has been used as a face. And first women speaker in the Parliament of Singapore. Well, apparently she is not from Singapore. Yes, let's see. Durun, tell us. Alima, Yako. Yakub from Malaysia. For human rights, Commissioner for Correct for human rights. Navne, okay. Navne is a place from which country? Navne is a place from which country? Ah, so you give a name to India, guys. Well, not correct. She is a Tamil, but she is from South Africa. We know the number of targets in South Africa in Malaysia. So, in least also, she is from South Africa. She is... He was among the first of the chief justice, uh, the high court in Africa. Well, uh, South Africa is the correct. Pranam Mukherjee presented the Krishi Karman Award for the year 2011. The award for contribution to production and productivity of rice was given to. Krishi, where straight Bihar, Sikh Maro, Aage Chalo, the Minister of Bihar, very much in the news these days. His annulence was held in Delhi just two days back. Okay. That's when Cyprus is in the news because of its economic crisis. Who is the president of Cyprus right now? Well, again, repeat, don't try to uh, use your empirical knowledge, you know, that the answer doesn't come to the answer, it doesn't come to the answer, it doesn't come to the answer, it doesn't come to the answer. FBI guidelines for licensing of new banks and private sectors and entity applying for license should be financially sound with a sexual track record. Time period, well, very tough, you know, uh, 10 years. So, private bank entry will become more difficult in India. Well, it's not easy. Well, of course, foreign banks are ready to queue in India. <laughs> Ruling now, 10 years must be so that uh, they ensure good liquid in the market. Well, we'll use the presentation in the answer. Which of the following union territories? It is Pondi, Puducherry, Pondicherry. Who is the IRDA? Now, IRDA Insurance and Regulatory. The insurance country. Who is the current one? Okay, which you must remember, well, they may change often, but 
you know, be aware sometimes they change by the time you give the exams but right now he doesn't it doesn't seem that the change of this organization will actually change the correct answer is kk srinivasan which of the laws of evil was founded by badran um basti very much common very much popular in india it has yeah with the philosophy you know the dominant in indian culture so uh, badran to kind of bit of dispute between india and pakistan on this issue project is situated in which state of course one of you know, i give you half of the answer it's dispute with pakistan so mostly it must be in jammu kashmir yes order on the pok near the on the jhelum river remember this is built on the jhelum neither so it's not very far from srinagar can for indira gandhi peace prize in 2011 2011, not 12. The like 12, it is Ellen Johnson Sir Lee. 11, it is in our image, but is but. Okay, so blood in humans' bodies approximate how much of the total weight? Weight and what is its total percentage in humans' body weight? Hmm, the sheet may percent. Maybe some of you trying to see the answers but don't know what type of number. Uh, some of you were writing your questions uh, uh, in the chat um, section. I guess I did not see that. Okay, okay, now I can see. Great, IRDA is the you know insurance regulator in the country. Insurance section. There are many companies who work on different principles and under many um, rules and regulations. So IRDA includes is the authority for that. Okay. 12% coming to the next question 65 women and child development ministry i wcd pm the web portal to serve as a central of those are missing in different parts of the country name of the portal what is the portal is the yes very important you remember that kabhi aap log bhi idhar udhar ho to aapko meri pe dhoondne ke trial which record in india women development for the 2007 was given to durga award for women development for the year 2007 prize in india given in generally is so okay presidential palace it's hale ahmed nagar yes what continues clean out 2005 6 7 together given 2007 was given to hale ahmed nagar yes gyan peeth award the e <coughs> gyan peeth for the prestigious gyan peeth award very literal literally work yes clean the gyan peeth award for just answer this one who in which who won the prestigious award she is an oriya literate she is uh, one of the famous oriya like a academic figure she is pratibha ray it is the award is given to one 
famous writers uh, who been picked uh, who writes in one of the constitutional languages it's a literary award in india and uh, it's given to the authors who write a form of it in in constitutional language this the all related with the hanging of very famous recently well i would expect everyone to know this answer well correct as abdul guru this abdul guru what Yes, yes. Not farming activity. It also combines the livestock activity also. So, so farming and and farther is farming. This is a hydrocarbon pipeline. Remember, this is not gas pipeline. This is hydrocarbon pipeline. Well, these are also hydrocarbon, but this is this has a different year. Okay, the Middle East. Sorry, Central Asian Republic. Like, uh, it. Central Asian Republic. The correct answer is because yes. So Pakistan is the country. Remember, Tapi pipeline is not the one which is here. Tapi includes this way Turkmenistan, and there is also a pipeline. I think Iran, Pakistan, India, which is also proposed, but it's very difficult to take off. so uh, that was about the gk section the third the gk section over it to the next please the presenter likes please yes nishan thank you right thank you very much uh, and over to nishan for the next section okay Okay. So we'll uh, work out with the really known as English section. please type yes okay Keep your papers also ready with yourself. Ends in question number hundred and sixteen, 
passage have to do is you have to completely read that passage or at least read a couple of lines before you know making any answer choice that's very important to it yeah read in a little and then go on marking now now if you read the very first line it says the inclusion of the western ghats in the world heritage list by unesco is a fitting tribute to one of the most biologically sensitive areas of the world and for us and the rich biological dash were included in the very first line of global diversity hot spots so go to straight away to the option think the inclusion is a tribute to one of the most dash and ecologically sensitive areas so your clue actually comes from ecologically sensitive so when i say ecologically sensitive my other word also should match ecologically sensitive so let me go back to the options now so of course i will first of all eliminate top then i will eliminate mid cloid it would go with fragile why fragile because when i am talking about sensitivity i am also talking about you know something which vulnerable some you know which can be easily disturbed for we will go with fragile i hope mohak this is clear to you Any questions from 116? Okay, 119. So, if you have a doubt in 119, let me go back to the passage. Yeah, right so, included in the very first global bio biodiversity hotspots drawn up by scientists at the turn of the century, today the Ghats are dashed as one of the listing as natural heritage. They are dashed itself under the UNESCO Convention. Visual listing as a natural heritage, India dash itself under the UNESCO Convention to conserve, protect, and transform. So, what is India doing? India is pledging itself, right? So, anyone heard nineteen? So, we are something of pledging. So, if you look at it, India themselves, their deeds would not come. Yeah, what commit itself? But what India is doing is it's it's being it it's committing itself to the cause, right? So this this is more grammar rather than vocabulary over here, right? I hope it is clear. Hundred and nineteen. Twenty four. Okay, go back. Dashi dash habitat which significantly influences the Indian monsoon. We have in its support the entire region, ecologically sensitive zone. So let's move ahead. Then in 24. So in 24, what India has the dash the entire region. It will not choose the entire region. It would not manipulate it. Now only two options that you are left with is table. You table the report rather than tabling the region, right? So you right now. But 126, number 131. You know, if you have a doubt, uh, I cannot help you much over here because unless and until your vocabulary is great, because these are you know just questions which would uh, which have options where uh, you know they are just the meanings of the word. So always look up a dictionary over there for that. One to 136, I'll discuss. Question 132 to 136. Does anybody have a doubt? No. Okay. There are thieves in the house of God. 
acts of God, God. You thieves at the house. You will have thieves in the house of God. Right? Mathematically, it's incorrect. Any other question? One thirty-two to one thirty-six. Because I'll come back to the questions, huh? One three. As as see, look at the clause over here. The prime minister, as well as whenever you are joining two clauses or two subjects, you either as well as or together with along with the singular subject because the first subject is singular. So the first subject actually decides the verb. So it will be is responsible, not are responsible. Seven to one thirty-five. Okay, five. Sorry. One forty. Somebody has a doubt. He was doubt driven to despair, eventually becoming a dash operator. He cannot be see. See, he was driven to despair. Despair is a state of hopelessness, right? So, when he is hopeless, after that he will do something negative, right? So, he cannot be naive. Naive means a person who is who is who is right. So. And so he 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 would be, no he cannot be simple. Now the choices between evil and hard. It's semantically eventually becoming an evil operator. An evil होना चाहिए था. A evil तो हो ही नहीं सकता. Was right. So it has to be hardened. Here, tell me. Okay. Great. Now to the last set of questions. That is the RC passage. Of course, I'll not read the passage over here. So, if your paper is ready, if you have a doubt in any of the questions, that is about one forty-six to the end. No doubt. I think the RC was easy. Okay, tell you one more thing. You know, you look at an NLU paper. You might be wondering what can be the total score. Last year, hundred and thirteen was the highest score. Right. The overall cut off. And that 105 is a safe score to get a call from NLU Delhi. Alankya is again here. Alankya sir, legal section covered or not? Alankya, today we covered the legal section as the very first section. So to the reasoning section, and I'll discuss some questions of critical reasoning. Mr. Tarun will come in to discuss maths. It's in the reverse order, so when does and when they come, let's discuss them.
Sorry, question. Anybody have a doubt here? What's pure vocabulary is required, right? It's a collective. Okay, right. no. Great. Now, Mohawk, I've already been ahead, then you're asking me 78. Okay, let me come back to 78. Is to introduce, then to introduce an ethylene biological passport program. This is to boost the sports fight against doping. Right? The question is saying. Now, we are out. Which conclusions follow? The new initiative will go a long way. We are not very sure whether it will go a long way. It may go a long way. Has that been the option I would have? Marked it. witnessing rising cases. It has been witnessing cases, but not really rising cases. So none of them is the answer. They have to see becomes your answer. Okay, Mohawk. Okay. Question number seventy-five. Anybody has a doubt? Response. Seven has a doubt. Okay. That the answer option. option that you unmarked. Can you let me discuss this question? It is not dangerous for children to be soon violence because it doesn't affect them to a great degree. I feel that if parents enforce rules like don't hit other kids, the kid, the child does not grow up to become unruly or bad tempered, okay? Are your parents help to learn the concept of right and wrong and to keep this concept in check? Parenting is the driving force that shapes a child's life. So the is putting the entire onus of good behavior on the parents. Right. In the examination, you should have removed this word only from the option. Car is always dangerous for a child. It goes contrary to the argument. Sure to the rules that are laid down by the parents, they or may not adhere, right? But parenting anyways plays a very important role, that is what he is saying. Question is saying that parents are the major driving force. If I remove this word only and then I go with the option and I say parents are the major driving force that shapes a child's life, this becomes the right answer. See, uh, you know, uh, and if I say in the absence of good parenting, children will succumb to the negative effects of cartoon violence, either it's bound to happen or it's not going to happen. Similarly, I cannot say whether the children would always be the only children would do is, in any given circumstance, the very first thing who can shape the child's life is the parent and parents, uh, you know, major driving force that shapes a child's life. I hope. That is clear to you now? So if nobody has a doubt now, I'm waiting and handing over to Tarun for maths and uh, 
the part of reasoning my lady is nishan dot punt at the rate cloncher dot com right so in case of any doubts you can always ask me thank you much have a good night so you tarun i'll pass you the presenter right So with the air part first, eight to eighty-five. Do we have a doubt? Completely set. Any doubt in eighty to eighty-five? Okay. Response. Is there? Six. Five and it out. Yeah. yeah. Next one on five and it out. No doubt. Then we should end session now.